Hello everyone, Aerofight here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a 2x2 two two sliding door. And uh, to do this, you actually don't need to be in the newest snapshot, which is contradictory to all other Minecraft videos that I've done, but you do not have to be in the latest snapshot, but it will work in it either way. Okay, so let us begin. First, we will lay down our door frame. So that's going to be the door. This will be the part that opens. Okay. Now, we want pistons on the second block away. Reason being that when it's closed, we actually want the pistons pushed out. Okay. Now, the default state of the door has to be pushed out because you want it closed defaultly. Um, the way that we're going to activate this is actually going to be with um, pressure plates. And in the second half of the video, I'll show you how to make more of a combination-like door where you can use whatever combination of the combinations wrong, won't work, kind of deal. Just like that one. But the first half is just going to be making the door with pressure plates. You can stop there if you'd like. It's really up to you. Okay, so got it closed, but now we have to have the way to open it. Now, there's going to be somewhat of a delay when we hit the pressure plate, so I'm going to place them two blocks away from the door. We're going to place them here. Okay. And I've laid this pink here just as kind of a reminder to me as to where I am. <laughs> that way I don't show y'all wrong. It's a basic idea. Pink and the purple and all that good stuff. Okay, now, what we're going to do is basically use an inversing of state, okay? So, in order for us to do that, we're going to go ahead and turn it to open at the moment. I will show you why in a minute. And it has to do with the fact that we're using pressure plates. Um, but, yeah. So, we want it to be able to open no matter on which side of the door that we're on. So what I'm going to do is take this redstone and just kind of place it. Just like that. Now, the idea is that when we step on the pressure plate that's going to be at this level, it's going to light this redstone. Unlike this. <laughs> or, yeah, unlike that which will then light this technically. I'll show you, we're going to have this screen here. It'll light this, unlight this, and open the door. Both sides. So there you go, it's defaultly closed. Now, if we place our pressure plates, it lights them down there and opens the door. But as you can see, there is somewhat of a delay. That is the reason we have two pistons, so you, or two pressure plates, so you can just kind of run through rather than hitting the door every time. Okay, and basically to complete it, you just put two more on the other side. It's a super simple door. Uses a couple inversing, using knot gates, right here. And yeah, other than that, it's not hard. Now that's just do it with pressure plates. I'll show you how to do it now with the. Um, you know, combination lock using levers. If you'd like to see that... Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, guys. Before I do that, this is really easy to make a 2x3 door if you'd like it to. All you have to do is add the pistons and add redstone on the top. Redstone does. Make it 2x3. Works just as well. No problem. So just how that is. Okay, so now I'm going to do the combination lock using levers. Go ahead and stay if you want. Okay, everyone who's still with me, I'm now going to show you how to make a combination lock using levers. Okay, so I'm not going to be using the pressure plates anymore. So let's just go ahead and get rid of this. And because of that, we no longer need this little strip that's going on here either. I'm just going to remove it right now. Obviously, it just wouldn't be filled in if you were going to... Or, you know, you wouldn't have this cut out here if you weren't going to use it. Okay. So... Now, let us continue here. So, to make the combination lock, 
you put however many levers you want. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to put five levers, just to make it easier on myself, honestly. Okay. There we go. And what we want to do is that when those levers are pulled, the correct levers, the ones with the torches behind it, are going to be the combination. So in my case, it'll be one, three, and five. Okay. So basically, when all these torches are off, because when you pull that lever, you know, it turns off the corresponding torch. When all these are off, you want it to open this door. Okay. So for now, we're just going to connect here. Oops. Okay. And what we want to do is just, oops. <laughs> I'm messing up all over the place. Um, what we want to do is just take this current that we got currently and bring it down into that stuff there. And link everything together. Now, it's probably not going to reach. It looks like right, yeah, right now this right side doesn't actually reach. So what we're going to do, really, is extend it using a repeater. And that, well, that won't work. And it should now work to our advantage. Make sure. Yeah, still working with the farthest torch. Sure, that should work pretty good. Okay, so now, with the way that we have it set up, if we have all of these torches off, the redstone will be off down at the bottom, so that will be on, that will be off, the doors won't be open. Okay, so let's do our correct combination. And there we go, the doors are open. Now, the problem is that with the way we have it set up now, is that we really don't want somebody to just run through and flip all the levers and the door open. But at the moment, that's pretty much what would happen. So what we have to do is connect redstones between all these torches too. And the reason behind that is that whenever one of these levers is pulled, now the redstone will get lit, and so it will act just as if one of these torches is on. Okay. So now what we have is you have to have the correct combination. If you don't have the correct combination while the torches is on, so the doors are shut, because the redstone's on. And if you have the wrong combination, the redstone's also lit and the door is shut. Okay, that's it for the video guys. If you liked it, I would appreciate a like, and if you really liked it, it would be awesome if you'd subscribe. And also please comment in the bottom and tell me what you like so much about it. If you didn't like it, don't feel like you have to subscribe or like or do anything like that, but I would like to know what you didn't like about it, so if you would, just leave a comment below. You can be as harsh as you want. I really don't care. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Later.